I'm finding this all very odd um, and slightly concerning because there's, as someone who used to run murder inquiries and now lectures on murder inquiries, um, there are two golden rules in any case like this. One is to, to respect the golden hour. Uh, the first 24 hours are absolutely crucial to a case like this. Yeah. And the second is to keep an open mind. Um, and to hear the police say that this is a tragic accident, on what we've got in the public domain at the moment, I cannot understand that statement. And uh, at a stroke of a pen by saying that, they are reducing the publicity, they are clearly upsetting the family who are now speaking out against them. And yeah. they are putting all the eggs in one basket, which <sighs> professionally I find very odd. We, we do know from what they've told us that they have a CCTV black, black spot, a, a place where someone could have gone into that field. And we know that they've got a 10 minute window, which um, they can't account for. Well, you only have to look at the Julia Jones case in Kent a couple of years ago. Uh, the lady, the PCSO off duty, yes. walking her dog, who was tragically attacked. Yeah. That attack, less than one minute. Um, a 10 minute window, you cannot rule out criminality. You cannot rule out um, the third party being at that location. Um, and of course, with Sarah Payne, we had nine different hypotheses as to what happened to that little girl. It, it, with Nicola, there's seven different hypotheses. Only one of them is she fell in the river. So I, I am very confused by this and I feel for the family because you try and keep the publicity up, you try and keep hope up by exploring every angle, every line of inquiry. And what the police need to do now is explain why they've shut eight of those nine, nine uh, six out yeah. of those seven lines of inquiry down. Because clearly they've said there's no signs of, of skid marks or, or uh, feet or uh, whatever going into the river or even away from that bench. And the phone's still there on the bench as well. I, I cannot believe that you've got senior officers saying this is clearly a tragic accident. There is a lot to suggest this could have been an unexpected attack or a kidnap uh, of a, a lady distracted on her phone and with a dog. And don't forget the dog was found dry and out of its harness, both of which are unusual if she's fallen in the river. I have dogs. If I fell in the river, my dogs would jump in with me. So yeah. this just doesn't ring true. And, and I, I'm not sure why they're doing this. The police need to answer this concern because I'm not the only person, the ex-professional, saying this is very odd. The police need to reassure people and reassure the family. Otherwise, they're going to lose